Hey guys, it's JJ Tutorials here, and I'm going to show you how to make this Rainbow Loom keychain thing. Let's get started. You will need a Rainbow Loom, a hook, a C-clip, and some bands. If your Rainbow Loom is in the default position, you have to change it by popping out the two sides. So pop them out. like this, and then put them in so the top one both line up, like that. Make sure all the pins are facing downwards. Now. Take your rainbow loom, turn it facing towards you, grab a band that you want to be the base, the part on here is clear, this is the back, this is the front, this is the clear part, so grab the band that you want to be as this part of it. So I'm using blue. So take the band, and then choose one of these like one a band to be one of these colors so I chose pink for my first one so take your pink wrap it around three times one two three so there's three of the little Squish them together and put the blue on the end of your hook like this. Pull it a little bit and then move this onto the blue. Then take one end, put it here, put this And then take a different color, purple, put it on again, take a blue, do the same thing that you did with the pink one, on like that, then put it on. And then do it again. Put it from here onto this one. And again. And put it like this. And you want to make sure that they don't like twist around so they're not like all twisted or else it will look bad. So take this one here and then do it. One more time. And put it here. So now you have this done. That's the first main part. I'm going to let you do the same thing that I did here, like this. You just remember take a band. Twist it around, put your main color on, 
and then pull it through and then put it on. Okay, so now do here, like do all of this the same way that, that this is, all the way down till you get to here. That's one, two, third peg up from the bottom. Okay, so pause the video till you've done that. Now you should have something that looks like this. Okay. Now. Take another one. Three times. And then push it on. Now take this, pull it to the middle. Okay, so put it on here to the middle of here. So we're not going to use these three bottom ones. Okay, so from here to here. Then another one. this peg to this one again and then finally I'm doing a clear one take it and put it from this middle one to the next middle one now take any color you want and put it on this one Wrap it around three times. One. Oops. One. Two. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky. Okay, so I finally wrapped it around three times. So now gonna look like this and start from the top again take your main color and you're going to first from here put it around and make little triangles so from here to here And you're just gonna keep going down like that. Can you see how I'm putting the triangles on? So this one, here, put it here, then stretch it back over to here. Triangle. Do that all the way down. Till you get to here. So you don't want to do this one because there's nothing on the sides. So now you're ready to hook. So first, you're going to reach under this one. I'm going to try and make it so that you can see. But you're 
going to reach underneath of this one and grab the first one on top of the first band, not the red one. So you're going to grab the first base color and then bring it up to this middle one. And you're going to go back underneath. And grab the second one, pull it up, and onto this one on the left. And then go back, grab the last main color one, and put it to the one on the right. And now, if you're familiar with Rainbow Loom, you're just going to go into here, grab it onto this one under grab it onto this one all the way of these all the way up till you get to these ones and do it like from here to here if you're not familiar stay and you can like watch me do it for a little bit so going to start because we did from here to here to here, here, to here, here, to here. So now let's start with this one. Reach under and grab the very bottom one. It should be on the bottom. So that one. Wait, let me get it clear. Clear. Okay. So see how there's separate ones? I'll just separate them. So the first one, second one, third one. You're going to grab, go under all of them and grab the very bottom one with your hook. Pull it up. Make sure none of the other bands come off. And just slip it off like this. And take it and pull it on to the next one. Put it on like that and then do it again and this next one that you just put it on go under all of them grab the very last one pull it up and onto this one You're going to keep doing that all the way till here. Okay, so I'm going to do it a few more times. So, start from the one you just did. Go underneath. Next one, under, grab it, to the next one. Grab. And, yeah. And do that all to all of these rows till you get to the this one. Or I don't know what one I said. The one I said. Okay, now I already did these two. So now I'll show you. Just do the same thing on this one. Now 
going to grab this one, the very bottom one, and just hook it onto this middle top one. So from here to here. Then do the same with the middle one onto the top one. And this one onto the top one. Okay, so now it should look like this. And now, for the final part, for this, the first time it, I used clear and it broke, so I just put a green one on today. So, whatever you want this little hook part to be, I'm going to do mine red. So put your hook through all of them, and then stick it out like this, so it should look like that. Put the red on the end of the hook, like this, and then pull it back through. Don't let go, and then put the red onto this hook, so it'll look like this. Now, push the red over, grab this end, and pull it off. And then pull tight. It should be like this. Then, to make sure it never comes apart, put a C-clip on this one. The C-clip does not want to go on. Okay, one second. Okay. This C-clip is deformed, so if you have a deformed C-clip, take a new C-clip and put it on. Much easier. And you can take your hook out and then take it off the loom. So you don't want to break any bands, so I like to take it off with my hook. So stick it under again like you did when you put the red on, and then pull it, and then just... Pull it like side to side and grab it with your hand if you need to and just keep pulling it until it's off like this. And this is how mine looked. If you want to be tighter you can always use double bands and loop these an extra time. So yeah, thanks for watching and yeah, see you later, bye. I just realized that I didn't have this piece on the entire tutorial, but that doesn't really matter, but I just realized that.